Ellen George addressed her battle with liver disorder cholestasis during her second pregnancy with her daughter Lark. It comes after Sunday's emotional episode of Call the Midwife touched on the difficult subject, which the actress opened up about in a candid Instagram post. The 37-year-old said the condition resulted in her having an uncomfortable pregnancy. The mother of two revealed she was diagnosed with cholestasis after she gave birth to her first daughter Ren, now aged four. The TV star, who is best known for playing Trixie Franklin in Call the Midwife, then described how her second pregnancy was so uncomfortable and painful. Helen, whose partner Jack Ashton, 35, is a former co-star on the hit series, gave birth to their second daughter Lark last November. Taking to Instagram, the actress shared a candid photo of her baby bump as she spoke candidly about her health woes. She began, after last night's final episode of Call the Midwife, it seemed the right time to talk about my experience with cholestasis in pregnancy. In 2017 when I gave birth to our daughter Ren, I was diagnosed with this condition. I knew there was a high chance that I would suffer again with my second pregnancy, but I was under the most incredible specialists slash doctors slash midwives slash health worker at Guy's and St. Thomas's. So I felt safe. She continued, I started getting the itch a lot earlier with this pregnancy and it was infuriating. I tried everything, creams, that's all of it and nothing would work. I would scratch all day and all night, normally on my hands, shoulders, feet but that quickly increased to just bloody everywhere. I was put on to medication, or so, at around 30 weeks. My bile acids whilst up and down were stable because of this, so I knew Lark was okay and the pregnancy progressing well. But the medication did little for the itch and urge to scratch myself raw. I have to say this pregnancy was so uncomfortable and painful. I thought the second would be easier but it really wasn't. Dot Ruth Langsford and Eamon Holmes snub Philip Schofield latest Karen Brady fumes schools are becoming political battleground column should be up for debate Fern Cotton shuts down cancel culture admission, Helen went on, preterm birth is always a possibility with this condition but I was so hoping it wouldn't come to that. However, for me it did. I started having contractions whilst away but managed to race back to London and my obstetrician. He decided to perform an emergency C-section that day, but I had to cross my legs whilst Jack raced to the hospital. Lark was born on the 16th November to our chosen music, the Lark Ascending. The relief when we heard her first cry was overwhelming, a release of months of anxiety and the fear that this moment may not play out quite so successfully. Lark was born early but healthy and is doing so well. She finished, I was lucky, but more so, well looked after. ICP support were there every step of the way to help me with whatever questions I had. Please, if you are worried you may have cholestasis in pregnancy or have been diagnosed and need any advice, do reach out to them. Spreading the word about this sometimes fatal condition is really important to me. I was over the moon that Call the Midwife tackled this subject last night at Hyped Support. Her partner Jack replied, you coped tremendously in a very difficult circumstance. Cholestasis is a potentially serious liver disease that affects 1 in 140 pregnant women in the UK and slows or stops the normal flow of bile from the gallbladder. The main symptom is itching, usually without a rash, according to the NHS. 
for help and support with cholestasis in pregnancy contact ICP support on 079398719.